night one back on the racetrack since the last video. Didn't film a bunch of this, actually didn't film any of it. Just kind of getting it all done. I'm just gonna try to buzz through all this tube work and welding because the last video was full of that. So we don't need to see any more of that. So uh, I'm just gonna fill you in a little bit here and there. So what I did is I built these little bars to kind of gusset that. I made an X brace here. This is all inch and a quarter. A couple little uh, 90s here to help strengthen this back section. Also got that uh, drive shaft loop kind of tacked in. And got tabs made for my fuel cell. So those are all tacked. So everything is just tacked. So, gonna be a lot more TIG welding now, but I can get at least I can get all these and it's starting to look more and more like a jungle gym every day. More bars. So next up, probably gonna get these mounted and just keep rolling. So I'm gonna cut these uh, old bed mount braces off this piece of frame because it's inch and a half and my inch and a quarter will slide right in it. I think I'm gonna use these to make some rear bed mounts. So I'm gonna hack these off and we'll get in the shop. Catch them back up. Done a lot of work since the last clip. Got all these fully welded up. Got my training coolers mounted. Got a little piece of aluminum here to support them. I gotta add a couple screws, but that way this will be light, but they'll also be strong. Training lines, cooling lines are hooked back up. The coilovers are on, they're tight, and our roll bar is in. And it is, I need to tighten that, but I got the arms, the set screws in, all the bolts in. Four length bars are set where they're gonna be. Most of them are tight. I'm just short a couple nuts there, so I gotta tighten those. Ran the brake line, just my stock one for now, because I'm just kind of over it. I'm just, uh, stop there. I'm kind of over, I'm just overworking on it right now, and I just wanna go, I just wanna go drive the thing, you know? So I wanna build nice brake lines eventually, but for now, we're gonna run the stock one. And it's the right length, because it was the same wheelbase before. So I got that on there. Welded my battery box on, got my hubs tightened up, torqued, got the new seals in, got the axles painted, got these put on, got my calipers on, everything is all tight and Loctited. Oh, uh, what else? Oh, bed mounts, I got these welded on, and then I don't know if we'll be able to see out here, I'll show you guys in the daylight, but there's two little pegs, so they just slide right inside there and lock that in. So I really just been blasting through this video so far, because I'm ready to see this thing out, make some, uh, just drive around on its own weight and maybe make some hits. So I'm gonna keep hammering down, get the fuel cell in, get the anti-roll bar tightened up, and keep going. All right, I'm thinking today might be the day that this thing moves under its own power. We made a run to the parts store earlier, picked up some brake line parts. Jeremy is getting super fancy right now, building the template with some rod, getting this thing just looking super clean. We're gonna get these brake lines. How's that, look at that. Oh yeah. Pretty close. That's, that's, that's the line right there. So we're gonna get these bent up, put on here. I'll get the four link tightened up and hook up my wiring for the fuel pump. Just like the wire power on the ground to get the battery in. And do a little more trimming up here and we should be rolling. This is diesel. <laughs> <laughs> well, with race gas, they're really gonna have stuff cut out for uh, them. Send everybody back to the drawing board. Pour it all in. A little extra weight. All right, we got it hooked up. Got the fuel system priming. We're gonna see if it's got enough juice to fire up. We're back. Biatch. <laughs> <laughs> Got it 
to get the vitamin D up on the old Dodge. Hasn't had too much sunshine lately. Well, it feels good to get the freaking racetrack out. Um, I'm probably gonna go weigh it tomorrow or, or something soon, so we'll we'll check in for that. But for now, they're doing a little Corona cruising in our town tonight, O Town. So I hopped up to my dad's house. We're gonna cruise his whip. Jeremy got his uh, retired hot rod, hot rodder costume on. <laughs> got the gold watch, son. <laughs> this thing's filthy. We're gonna do a quick hose off and do some cruising. Give her a bath. Let's see what Big Cat's doing. Should be cruising this thing though. If the battery wasn't dead, I, I might try it. This thing just looks so sick to me still. After all this time, look at that. We got Big Kev yeah. and Teens up here cruising the Nash. It's like a family reunion. fun last night it's always good to get big kev and his cars both out of the garage and and go do some cruising uh, but back to the green truck man feels super good to have this thing you know out of the shop rolling again did that little launch last night and it was it honestly worked pretty good the suspension was set way too soft so it did squat a little too hard but it hooked man so with some fine tuning i think it's really gonna work i was gonna weigh it um today but i think i'm gonna wait till i get the fiberglass doors on that way I can have a true weight with you know basically all the mods i'm going to be doing at this point and i don't have to load it up and take it down there but let's just take a look at this thing with the bed on and the back half it actually looks uh looks pretty cool looks definitely looks serious uh it better go fast now look at those brakes yeah it better work now and go fast now that it looks like it's all crazy and then everything up here Still the same. Got to get the glass, Alexan. I got to get a new piece. I'm going to cut my piece for now, put it in there. But yeah, just take a look at it, man. Outside in the daylight, hanging out with its sibling over here, soaking it up. Oh, yeah. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Subscribe if you're not already, guys. If you liked the video, like it, drop a comment down below. And, uh, Next video, we're going to be doing something cool. Maybe launching it. I'm not sure, um, but we'll get there when we get there. But stay tuned. Check it out. We'll see you on that one.